Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is someone who has contributed major hits to the soundtracks of our praise and worship. You know this musical genius for his hits like, I will bless the Lord and the presence of the Lord is where? Here? Here. Yeah, Absolutely. That song. Yes. Now he's releasing a new book, I Do, Marriage of Music and Ministry, and a new album, Isolation. Please welcome Stella Award winner, Byron K. Yes. 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 Hello. Welcome hey, back now. to the Thank Circle. You. Thank you. Thank you. How good? Is it, sir? Michelle, y'all are off the chain. Oh, you, I know we are. We are. Out of yes. Good morning. How what you doing? doing? All is well. Yes, good. You know, the last time you were here, which was just recently, you talked yeah. about being in the game 30 years plus. I know, I know. Yeah. To what do you attribute your longevity and success? You know, I think integrity. Mm. Be, be, be about who you're supposed to be and um, I've, I've learned how to just be faithful at what I've been called to be. I can't be anybody else but me yeah. and um, just serving and um, hopefully uh, inspiring people along the way. It's, yes. it's, it's allowed me to do it for 30 years. Good, good. Before I retired in December. Can you believe it? Uh, uh, now, uh, now I'm playing not golf. Going to really retire. I'm playing golf, y'all, going to the movies. I'm catching up on all of the TV shows. And really? Yeah, it's good what? though. I'm still doing concerts and stuff, yeah. but um, as far as being a local minister, of music at okay. a church. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Got, yeah. it. got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Well, but you've taken these three decades. Yes. And you've turned into a book. Yes. I do. Marriage of Ministry and Music. So tell us about how it came to fruition and why you thought it was important to write this book. Well, you know, I thought it was very important to write it because uh, all over the country, and even around the world, there are relationships that are estranged mm -hmm. between pastors and music people. Mm -hmm. oh. Because a lot of times people don't really understand that dynamic is so important and key to have a cohesive type of unit mm -hmm. or you'll have a lot of division. You have a lot of pastors, a lot of ministers of music that they don't really understand each other. Mm -hmm. And so I'm brutally honest in my 30 years, I chronicled the stories when I served Bishop Long for 12 years. Right. Uh, I was at Ebenezer for 17 years. Uh, I was at uh, St. Paul in Richmond. I was also um, at um, uh, New Mercies in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, so, I, so I, I've been so many ministries and all over I see how pastors have a distrust and almost they look at musical people like, you, you know, you're rebellious. You're, because uh, Walter Scott Thomas, Pastor Walter Scott Thomas said something that was wonderful that set me free. He said, Byron, whenever you have a spiritual leader who only wants celebration to happen at the point of revelation, which is the word, but not inspiration which is music when music inspires you he said then yeah then you'll have you know a co one of my colleagues that could potentially be um, I don't know mm. have, have problems with that almost a level of insecurity wow uh, yeah with so music. a lot will be revealed in this book it's, it's revealed I tell pastors all the time if you don't run music music will run you because wow. we know how we are when we go to church we want to hear that good gospel music and we want to get that good preaching yeah so, yeah speaking yeah. of good gospel music what do you feel about or how do you feel about gospel and R&B and the sounds kind of interchanging now mm -hmm. do you think that's a good thing for us, or do we need an old time spirit? Well, no, I, 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 we need that one, that one. Old time spirit. Oh, come, yes. on, come on, man. No, no, you know what? I, I, I think that it's, it's great that we can reach masses of people, yes. young people especially, and mm -hmm. that's a great thing. Uh, so whether we do it, the young people do it now in a different way than I did it. I came yeah. up with the organ and the drums and the piano, and that's what we did. Yes. And uh, you know, But as we evolve and we go to the next place, I think we should always want to grow. Yeah, yeah. Well, with, with this evolution, how do you feel about Kanye and how he is propelling his new gospel choir movement. Movement. There you go. That's going Remember on. Remember me. No, I'm, I'm kidding. How I feel about that, because <laughs> someone said, you know, a lot of people were offended that he was like, say, he was with my fraternity brother uh, last week, Jamal Bryant. Mm -hmm. And so that caused a lot of controversy. And my thing is this, Paul said it best in the first Corinthians in the sixth chapter, where he talks about the things that we go through, but such were some of you, some of you were this, mm -hmm. but now that you've been washed in the blood of the lamb. And so I can't judge Kanye's Christianity, his confession mm -hmm. of faith, mm -hmm. only he can do, only God can do that. Yeah. And so, hey, Kanye, man, I love them good old songs that you brought and I love to see all the young people praising God. Yes, right. So right. you know I'm not here to judge that man at all. Yeah. I'm just here to pray that um, whatever he feels that God is calling him to do yeah. in this season mm -hmm. that he'll be able to subdue it yeah. and uh, just be genuine about it. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Pastor Jamal was here yesterday. Yeah. He said 156 millennials were saved, saved. from that service. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So that's Absolutely. what it's all about. We're going to mm -hmm. uh, continue our amazing conversation with yes. Byron Cage to talk about his new project, Isolation. Oh. What does that mean? We'll find out next. Yes. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are joined by Gospel <laughs> Great and my friend, Byron Cage. Hey, hey. Okay, so before we talk about isolation, I wanna circle back to the book I do for just one moment. Okay. I would like to ask, 
through that estranged relationship between pulpit ministry and music ministry, mm -hmm. what obstacles did you face when you were writing this book? Oh man, I, I wouldn't say obstacles. I just tap back into memories over the 30 years, what I've learned and what I wanted pastors to hear from a musical person. Mm -hmm. And I wanted musical people to hear what I had to say in reference to serving pastors for so long Ooh. that, you know, I am the minister of music, of ministers of music, because I did it so long. Yeah. So pastors love when I come and, and, and get things kind of in order. But at the same time, I also let pastors know we, we are not mind readers. Yeah. Whatever you need as musical people, you have to tell let us. us know. Yeah. Let us yeah, know. Yeah. We can give it to you. So. Absolutely. Ooh, that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. it's probably, you know, this is one of the, the curriculum for music. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so excited. It was a bestseller. Yeah, and I'm yeah, just now. God won't do it. Good stuff. Won't he do it? He said he would. Yeah. Okay, we do. <laughs> All right, so Isolation. Yes. Let's talk about this new album. Yeah. Uh, where did the name come from? Did you feel that you were in a state of isolation. You know, Joe, I was absolutely isolated. I haven't had a new record out in seven years. Mm -hmm. And so I was in a place where I was writing in this particular song, I was, it was like three in the morning. And I was like, God, isolated by myself, trusting you, Lord, you're my help, you're ever present when I'm overwhelmed. Because in quiet times, you give me peace. Mm. Um, and this was a, a, a song, I believe, that he gave me uh, to help people with mental illness oh, yeah. and deal with depression that's by themselves all the time. And they're wondering, when is my change going to come? Uh, by the time I get to the part that says he's preparing me for what I need mm. and he's protecting me from what I can't see. Mm. It, it, it lets me know that sometimes we have to be by ourselves in order for God to really take us to a whole other place and get the noise away from us. Because the noise, so much is so noise. Constant. It is so constant. I mean, you could turn on the different networks and, and you'll go crazy yeah. with all the bad news. And with the leadership in our country right now, yeah. it, it'll cause you to want to jump off of a building. Oh, but yeah, but no. what isolation does, it takes you to a place that says, you know what? Sometimes it's good that I was by myself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You have to be. You have All to right. be. Yes. Yeah. New book, new album. What's yes. next? Oh, Lord, just traveling and I'm, I'm writing treatments for different reality shows, faith based reality shows. All right. Oh, yes, God. yes. yes. You, should oh, do one based on, you need to do one based on your book. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Well, write a oh, even, even the church, man. The, the church choir <laughs> yes. alone. Yeah. Be a, a oh, good, that's a whole thing. Art. Well, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for thank all you that you do. Uh, make you sure too. you get his new book, I Do, <laughs> Marriage of Music and Ministry at Amazon.com. And his new album, Isolation, drops this Friday. Yay. It's Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Burn Cage, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. <laughs>